On my last video, I reviewed the 1992 film Dracula for Vampire Tuesdays. So let me continue the Dracula tradition by reviewing Dracula, Dead and Loving It. Why I chose this film for two names, Mel Brooks and Leslie Nielsen, that's all. This is a brilliant comedy, like other Mel Brooks movies like Spaceballs, Robin Hood Main Tights, Silent Movie. He puts the parody on the map. Of course, they cast a Leslie Nielsen as Dracula because his comedy is brilliant. We all remember him in movies such as Wrongfully Accused, Spy Hard, and my favorite, the Naked Gun Trilogy. The story is like any other Dracula story. Simple. Dracula comes to London to make Mina his bride. She is played by Amy Aspect, who for a British actress is pretty humorous. Leslie Nielsen's Dracula is different. He's clumsy. He slips and falls down the stairs, bumps his head on the chandelier, and flies into windows. It's too funny. And how about uh, Peter McNichol? His performance is great as Rainfield. Let's not forget Brooks himself. Like all of his films, he does star in the movie. I mean, not like a cameo, like he's in it throughout the whole film. It's great to see a classic Bram Stoker story being parodied so well. The score was composed by Hubie Mann, who worked with Brooks's previous film, Robin Hood, Men in Tights. There is blood in the movie, but it's funny blood. There's a scene in which Van Helsing, played by Brooks, and Jonathan, played by Steven Weber, who stabs Lucy in the heart and blood showers into her faces. Oh my God! There's so much blood! She just ate! Hilarious. This goes on about for a minute, which I just kept laughing. A lot of the critics hated this movie for trying to be too silly, and they said that it wasn't Nielsen's best performance. But to me, this is a classic. Dracula, dead and loving it. It's funny and humorous. If you're in for a good laugh for Halloween, just give it a watch. Ha, 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 ha.